Hi everyone, welcome to The Daily Whip. My name is Rollo and today we are going to be talking about, in the world of video, about how your company, your brand, can have a plan. Yep, okay, no worries. At the moment, myself and a few other whipsters are zooming up and down the west coast of America. Um, Seattle, Portland, currently in San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco. And... Um, and we're meeting up with a ton of customers and, and people who could be customers uh, to talk about the explosion of video. And one of the big stories is about this concept of always on. So your video is always available um, and not just your one video you made is always available, but your video is new and always available. So there's always something new to grab someone's attention. A little bit like how most social networks now rely on their feed to be the thing that creates habits that gets users to come back into their product. So brands are now creating what's essentially their video feed wherever they are, any social network and beyond, their own web website, right? So that that becomes the, um, the feed that brings you in and keeps you, keeps you interested in hanging out with them. Now, one thing that's been really interesting is that we've been talking to some quite well-known companies uh, in the in the tech world, you may have you may have stayed at uh, one of their houses. Uh, you may have um, put some files in one of their uh, servers, that sort of thing. And what's becoming an overarching theme that I'm seeing is that a lot of companies have uh, bits of video. They have moments of video. One of the agencies I was talking to uh, who who wanted to relay some information to their clients was saying um, in the sales process, you know, in the in the process of getting uh, prospects uh, moving all the way through the pipeline and then through to a uh, sales process and close, um, you know, what what parts of those processes can can a video be used in versus um, versus some, something else? And it was very interesting because when, when I looked at some people's plans, it would it would say um, we're going to do um, a call at this point. Um, we're going to talk about another customer. We're going to show them a video. Blah blah blah, and it would just say, <laughs> "I'm going to show them a video," and it wouldn't say what the video was or anything. And it was very interesting because at that moment, I I, I got into the headspace of I think a lot of companies, which is they view video as a thing that you use. So the tactic of a video is the thing you use at one time versus some other tactic, instead of what's inside the video or what the video, um, the job of the video is to do. Um, and so, and so then you think, well, maybe there's a different way people have to look at video and, and this is the whole thing of actually having a plan, right? Is that, is that if you want to, if you, if you know that video is, is one of the best ways to get information across to people, uh, cause it's much closer to a human experience versus reading or, or, you know, clicking through things. Um, if you know that's true and you, you believe it and you think video has that power and it has that simplicity for your audience then you would view any any part of any journey that you're trying to create in terms of a sales process or a nurturing campaign or or just capturing people's interest out in the world you would view it as as what is the what is the information or what is the entertainment that you want to get across and then what format are you going to use so you might use events and be in person you might use the written word in a blog format you might use audio in a podcast or you might use a video and it's not so much, not so much that at this point in the journey we're going to use a podcast, and it doesn't matter what it is. It's at this point in the journey we're going to be talking about how we have helped this type of customer achieve these sorts of results, and we're doing it in video format, or we're doing it in written format. Uh, and, and so that's that's one really interesting point that I think a lot of companies just. It's not that they haven't they haven't thought about it properly. It's that they just haven't got to that point yet of going. Video is just another way of doing everything. You can basically do everything with a video, uh, and it's just it may not actually be the best thing at that one time, or it may be too um, too difficult to do. You know, twenty five thousand videos if that's what's happening, that type of thing. But it, it it can basically do everything. So it comes to the next point, which is that. A lot of companies that I speak to uh, have got sort of a, a haphazard view towards video. It's a, we're doing a launch, we're going to do this crazy kooky thing, we're going to make a couple of these mad videos, they're going to be awesome, um, and, and you know, we're going to track 
uh, the agency information of um, what was the engagement, what was the attention, what um, eyeball view. And there's always like this enormous like 27 million person number thing, um, which you kind of know is, is not true. <laughs> um, and and they have this like little moment in time where you know your video did some some thing and it got people's attention. And this stuff is good. This stuff is this stuff is the right stuff. But what I always think is that if you get that attention, if you get those people looking at you, paying attention for a, for this thing, why wouldn't you have something for them to jump onto the next thing? And it's not always your product. It's not always come and see this cool crazy launch. And there you instantly want to come straight in and um, hang out with our product and then go on a godforsaken email nurture campaign. Think about it more like there are going to be multiple um, consideration cycles that, that, that companies go through, individuals go through, um, before they want to be your customer or spend a lot of time with you or a partner or something. And that, and that the, there is a much higher chance that they will eventually buy from you when they're in the buyer cycle, not the consideration cycle, if you're top of mind. And so, again, for example, if you, <laughs> some screaming kids out there, if, for example, you do this great launch campaign of this thing, and you do these couple of videos and they get all these views and all these people are interested, and then it dies off and there's nothing else, there's nothing else to join in with. Um, I think you may get a large amount of possibility and then lose a lot of it quite quickly. And that's what I mean by there does, doesn't seem to be a lot of long-term planning go, going on. I don't see people's video strategies, you know, going for 12 months, we're going to make these 24,000 videos or these, you know, 180 videos and and um, we're going to be doing all these special things on these channels. Um, I don't think the market is there yet, but it's... Um, it's also because a lot of people think it's very expensive and they and they think about video from the perspective of agency um, and agency obviously have to make money. They have to keep the lights on and, and keep all their people paid. Um, and so it, it can come across as expensive. Um, but think more about what it costs to say run a small team full time internally and then think about the output of that team and how quick and iterative they'll get to the point of being able to mechanize how they do their stuff and get probably quite a lot more out the door not because i would say that they're any better at filmmaking or anything it's just the process that you've put together is so much more efficient than constantly using uh, an outsourced resource where they've got you know 15 other companies to keep happy and they've got you know all sorts of other things to deal with as well so so the overarching thing here is be aware that video is able to do loads of things. It's just a format of doing something, right? It's a format of getting information across or helping people understand a certain path, uh, unlocking a road roadblock uh, if, if more information is needed. So understand that video is useful basically anywhere. So you can do a video for almost anything. And then the next thing is to make sure that you're not just doing these um, campaigns where there's a spike of activity and then it dies off. And all of that, all the people in that spike, you had the opportunity to keep them and then they all went away again. So, so, so that, and then, um, think more about being able to do a lot of video by maybe having some internal resources. If you, if you haven't thought about that, build a little two or three person team internally, think about the cost of that. Maybe it's two, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars a year for that full time team, you know, put another 50, hundred K in for, for hardware software. And then you've got a full team who was able to produce God knows how many videos. I mean, it depends what your strategy is. But just think about that. Constantly going, constantly thinking only about your company, only your stories, how you want to come across, only the attitude that you want the, the videos to have. Um, I think it's I think it's quite quite enormous. And it, do, it doesn't mean that some of the stuff that m maybe that team hasn't got the skills for, you can't still go out to an agency for certain tentpole moments as long as there's a strategy to get them to keep going afterwards. Anyway, that's some rambling thoughts um, for uh, what is a San Francisco Thursday evening before we do another one of our great events tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to be seeing maybe even a few of you at our event tomorrow, which is down in the Embarcadero uh, at our Lunch and Learn. So there'll be a, a, a big handful of brands and filmmakers in the room. We're going to have a huge um, vi Video Makers Leaders Summit chit-chat um, while we eat fish and look at the sea. 
Right, well, thanks for hanging out. And also, sorry I haven't made a film for a couple of days. It's been uh, incredibly busy and we've got some news that we'll tell you in a few days. Okay, bye-bye. Must I wander? Hunger might drive.